Last week was the fifth annual Maryville High School Athletic Department Trick or Treat at the track. Families, alumni, and faculty members all had a ghoulish time as they marched on the track visiting our athletes and receiving lots of goodies. Um, uh, you know, our Maryville Pirate Athletic Council, which is called IMPACT, uh, needed um, a fundraiser type thing uh, to uh, do something to give back to some uh, organization. And so uh, we came up with, why don't we just trick or treat on the track, charge a, a few dollars and, uh, and donate that money to Indiana Special Olympics. So. Um, uh, it's a great cause. Uh, our kids are, I'm not sure who has more fun at this thing, the little trick-or-treaters or the high school kids who hand out the candy because they all seem to be having a good time. More of them every year are dressing up the high school kids, which is fun. And um, we're just excited to invite our community to the high school uh, for a night of just family fun. Hi, I am a detective cat. Um, she is a cat. This is Viviana the cat. She is a mouse. She's a mouse. And this is Sarah. She is the wizard. And uh, we are representing the soccer team. I am very excited to be here. It's very cold though. I want to kind of go home, but it's beautiful and they have a lot of candy. I'm eating it all, so I'm fine. <laughs> so I'm having a good time. Oh, uh, we love it. This is our third year coming. We got a. Uh... No, you can't have that, bud. We got a. Uh two-year-old who's enjoying his third time out here. We got our Nemo here and it's a really good time. We we have a lot of fun out here with the, all the costumes and the, the candy and the music and the food. It's, it's a lot of fun. Famous Lakes here at the track retreat with the soccer mixed with the wrestling team. I mean, you know, it's good to give candy to the kids. I mean, they're our future, so you know, why not, you know? Famous Lakes. <laughs> Well, um, it's nice to have the kids out here. Nice to see the team before the season starts. Get them dressing up. We we got some some costumes out here, and then it's nice to see my daughter, who's a little bat girl, and with with uh, Brianna right now. And it's just a safe place for kids to come and have a good time. See what you know, Maryville sports is all about. Team. We're all from the girls basketball team. Uh, this is a great event because, you know, um, today in this era, uh, trick-or-treating can be awfully dangerous and it's a good opportunity for the kids to come out and show off their little costumes. They all look really cute. I'm Kiwan Tama. I'm representing track. I'm DJ Carey. I'm representing basketball. I think this is a good idea to uh, get back to the community, you know, something like that. I do. I think this uh, is to have fun with people and just give out the kit, the candy for the kids, and meet new people. It's important because it's team bonding, and we like seeing all the little children come out, and it brings the community together. Yes. and I'm representing the girls golf team and this is my fourth year doing it and I love it because we're supporting a really great cause and all the proceeds are going to the Special Olympics which I think is amazing. With everyone in costume and tons of children in attendance, Maryville High School was able to raise over $1,500 for the Special Olympics. Hopefully we'll see you next year for this special event. Signing off from PNN, I'm Brianna Baggett.